Welcome to the demo for how to schedule a full scan for ViruScan Enterprise with EPO. An on-demand scan will be a task. The difference between a policy and a task is this. A policy is a constant enforcement. It's a condition or setting that you want to be in place all the time. The on-access scan, or OIS, is an example of a policy. You want those settings to stay in place for every new object to be scanned by ViruScan. A task is based on a time or a condition. It's a command based on a schedule such as daily, weekly, monthly, once or immediately, or a condition such as when idle at logon or at dial-up or at startup. An on-demand scan is a task and we'll be creating an on-demand scan task today. I've opened an EPO server and we can begin to make our task by using menu and in the policy area client task catalog. We'll be working with ViruScan and creating an on-demand scan. Click the new task button and OK. Let's name our task. I've given the task name On Demand Scan, General Full Scan, and a brief description. We'll be using many of the defaults for this scan. Below, look at the Scan Locations tab, and we'll see that the areas being scanned are memory for rootkits as well as running processes, all local drives, and registry. You can add to this list with any of these selection areas. For our example, we'll be using the defaults, or you could also remove different selection criteria. The scan options include subfolders and scan boot sectors by default. Let's look at the additional tab details. Scan items. By default, all files are scanned. We also have options to detect unwanted programs, decode mine files, scan inside archives, and scan files that have been migrated to storage. Notice some are selected by default. We make these default decisions based on performance as well as scan detection. You may modify these as needed. Heuristic scanning is on by default. For our next tab, Exclusions. If you need to make exclusions for certain files that may be large or unlikely to have malware, you may do it here. For our example, we'll be using the default of no exclusions. Scrolling down, notice we have an option to overwrite client exclusions. This is done by default, and this policy would have precedence over any exclusions specified at the user level. On the Actions tab, We'll take the defaults, when a threat as well as when spyware are found, to clean the files as a first action, delete the files if the first action fails. Performance, very important. Notice that we have Windows priority here for systems utilization and the default is below normal. The other options are low and normal. Now for your users, you may want to give them the option to defer the scan. If they're using battery or during a presentation, or in general to defer scans. I'm going to be generous here and let them defer if they're using presentations or on battery power, but at the most they can only defer for one hour. Notice that we also have the Artemis or Heuristic Network check on and enforce. This is the sensitivity level of medium, which is our best practice minimum specification. On the Reports tab, you can specify where to log the files or use the default and you can also specify the maximum storage size as well as what to include in the log file. Our last tab is task. Whether this is to run on servers and or workstations and I am going to let it run on both by default. You may specify a user account to use when running the task. Hit save and we've created our task. Let's go to our systems tree to assign this task. Now recalling that a systems tree is hierarchical in nature, I can assign the task anywhere on the tree. If I assign it at the top, everyone would get the task. Since I made this as a general task, I am going to use the top of the tree. I have my assigned task tab selected and I'm going to use 
the action, new client task assignment. In my first column, we'll be using Viruscan 8.8. Second column for the task type, on-demand scan. My task name, on-demand scan, general full scan, is the one I just created. Click Next at the bottom. From the Schedule tab, determine when and how frequently the on-demand scan will run. By default, the schedule status is enabled. Under the schedule type, we're going to choose monthly. We could do this on a specified day of the month, or I'm going to select to do it on the third Thursday of the month. The effective period is starting today with no end date. The start time will be 4 p.m. running once at that time. The task will run according to the local time of that managed system. In case the machine is not on at the scheduled time, I'm going to select under Options, Run Miss Task, and I'll select 45 minutes. With all of my parameters in place, I'll click Save. Returning to the Systems Tree area, we can see that our policy is assigned at the My Organization level. But what if you didn't want your servers to run a monthly scan? What if you preferred for your servers to run a weekly scan instead at a quiet time? We can go to the server area, edit the assignment for the on-demand scan, general full scan. And I'm going to break the inheritance and click Next. For my server group, I'm going to instead run this weekly and I'm going to do it every Saturday and I'm going to start at 3 a.m. and I'll uncheck my missed task because it's likely that my server will be on at that time. I'll hit next and save. Now returning to the systems tree once again we can now see at the My Organization level on-demand scan, full scan, is assigned to everyone one doesn't inherit. And who is that? It's our server group. So with that you see that you can create a task, reuse the task on the system tree, and change the task assignment times or specifications. Schedule on-demand scans for all of your machines for best security practice. Thank you for attending the demo on how to schedule a full scan for Viruscan Enterprise with EPO.